What's up everybody, Wantable07 here, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. In today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, I'm going to be showcasing to you guys my updated Chaos Dragon Levianir deck. I posted a poll on my community tab asking you guys if you wanted to see my newest Chaos Dragon Levianir deck, and for all of you guys that did participate in the poll, 80% of you guys said that you wanted to see this new deck list. So here I am with my updated Chaos Dragon Levianir deck list. Now, fun fact, this deck list is actually in its 3.0 stage. Literally last minute before I hit the record button, I was like, you know what? I do need to add in a couple techs into this deck list because while this deck has been really good recently, I still can't get to that dual level max. So I'm going to be experimenting a little bit in today's video. I originally thought that I had like, you know, the deck list to just end all deck lists, but at the end of the day, you can always improve your deck list in here and there so that's kind of what's popping with today's video so hope you guys are excited for today's video and all that good stuff right here i'm going to first do a deck breakdown on basically everything that i've changed with this deck list right here i'm going to be talking about my 2.0 version of the deck i'm going to be talking about the 3.0 version that you see right now because while i did showcase this 2.0 version of the deck or not this version of the deck that you see right now this is the 3.0 version but basically i had a older version of the deck that looked like this and i've been using this version of the deck list on my live stream and i know not everybody watches my live stream and since i never made a video on the 2.0 version of the deck i'm going to talk about this one first and then i'll explain to all of you guys that were watching my live streams why i made the changes for this right here so let's just get into it boys and girls ladies and gentlemen if you guys don't care about the updates to the deck and you just want to skip to the duels i'll pop a timestamp right now that you guys can just skip to and see the live duels and see if i reached a level max in today's video but let's go hop into it boys and girls ladies and gentlemen the first big change from the first version of this deck to the second version of the deck is the fact that i bumped it down to 25 cards adding it or making it into 25 cards has just been way more consistent for me i can easily get into my solar recharges and charge the light brigade and thanks to that i was able to really thin out the deck and really pop off with this deck i was also changing the skill from restart to grit i was originally rocking restart so that i would stop from breaking all the time but since i dropped it down to 25 cards it helped me not brick as much and grit also helps if i do brick because if there's ever a turn one situation where i turn one can't do anything grit can come through because this skill states if you had four thousand or more life points at the start of that turn your life points will not fall below one for one time only the skill can only activate once per duel so yeah if i brick turn one turn two my opponent has an otk deck they can't otk me with grit of course there's a couple decks that can play around grit but there's also a lot of decks that can't so grit's been extremely useful so there you go right there that's why we bumped it down to 25 cards and yeah this deck pretty much does everything or it pretty much does the same thing as the 1.0 version does you basically use slow recharge charge your light brigade to just mill out a bunch of cards mill out your eclipse wyverns and then when eclipse wyvern gets it's sent to the graveyard you can banish your chaos dragon levianir and then if you banish your eclipse wyvern you can search for chaos dragon levianir so you basically go for the crazy combos of uh, having your Eclipse in the graveyard that just banish Levianir to then special summon any of your boss monsters, banish your Eclipse Wyvern, banish a dark monster, summon your boss monster, then search out for Levianir and then special summon him. It's absolutely crazy and this deck just does that well. Also another thing that I did change with this deck from the 1.0 version is I did add Fortunality Every and Vermilion Dragon Mech. Uh, Fortunately, Every is just a great turn one synchro to go into. If I ever go into the situation where I have um, my Lumina and Raiden because whenever I use Charge of the Light Brigade, I use Charge of the Light Brigade, search for Lumina, hope to pitch a Raiden, and then I go for the Lumina and Raiden play to basically go for a seven star Synchro Summon. And now I've been doing turn one plays into Fortunately Every because Fortunately Every is a very strong turn one Synchro. And this card states, this card's attack and defense become its level times 400. Once per turn during your standby phase, increase this card's level by one, maximum of 12. Then you can banish one face of monster your opponent controls. During your opponent's end phase, if this card is in your graveyard you can banish one other spellcaster type monster from your graveyard especially some of this card you only can use the effect of fortunately every once per turn so tldr you turn one synchro summon into this card in defense position 2800 attack monster and defense monster uh, thanks to its special ability and what's really cool too is that if this card does stay alive and your opponent doesn't take it out when it's your standby phase on your next turn you can banish a card with fortunately every fortunately is also a light monster so you can if by an off chance your opponent just destroys it you can use this card as material to summon into your other uh, boss monsters which is really cool like fortunately every is just an extremely good card for the stack and then yeah if you have your lumina and raid in play
plays. You can go into turn two, use Black Rose Dragon, to just nuke the entire field. And then what's so fun about this deck list is the fact that you can summon Black Rose Dragon to nuke the entire field and still have follow-up plays. So you can nuke the entire field with Black Rose Dragon on your turn two, and then special summon to a Levioneer and like a Chaos Sorcerer and attack your opponent for games. So much fun. And then of course we have Michael for the banishment stuff. The downside with Michael is that if you do pay that a thousand life points, you will lose your ability to use grit. Sometimes I forget that and lose a couple duels, but still Michael is a really good option sometimes too. And then of course we have the Scrap Dragon with Raid and the Eclipse comes up every once in a while. Same thing with Vermilion Dragon Mech. We have Dark Flare and uh, Raiden go into Vermilion Dragon Mech with Broniac. If we have, um, you know, our Raiden or our Raiko and our Bacon Saver, we can go into Broniac. So we got that Synchro Toolbox coming through. And then the really cool spicy tech with this deck too is that I'm rocking the Melody of Waking Dragon. This card is literally a search for Chaos Dragon's Vioneer. You can pitch one card and then add up to two Dragon type monsters with 3,000 more attack and 25 or 100 less defense. That is the perfect target for Chaos Dragon Leviathan so instead of going for the Eclipse plays, I can go for Melody of the Awakened Dragon, search for my Tooth of Pioneer. A really cool effect right there. And yeah, that's kind of it for this deck list right here, but I did do some adjustments that you saw at the beginning of the video, and these were the adjustments that I made. So I dropped my two copies of Raiko, Twilight Soren Fighter. I dropped two copies of him, and I added two copies of Spear Kribo. The reason why I dropped this card right here is because while this card is a really cool monster, the fact that it does have non-target removal and it banishes it's extremely useful but there is so many times where i normal summon into this card and then i just don't have any other follow-up plays and then he is a 200 attack monster face up on the field and any of my opponents can easily summon a big boss monster to just get rid of this guy and then just deplete all my life points grit sure it's gonna protect me man but when i'm at that one life point and i got raiko face up on my field it doesn't matter if i got a leviathan here my opponent will just attack a raiko and just absolutely murder my dream so i'm gonna drop him and i'm going to experiment and see if spear creep was the way i was going to consider playing kite right because kite right does have some playability with the fact that you can you know if it's in your hand your opponent does a direct attack against you you can uh you know protect yourself and not get any damage from that direct attack and then also kite rides in the graveyard same thing if your opponent directs attacks you, you can use kite ride to protect yourself but i'm gonna lean for spear kribo because one it's a dark monster so that is a monster that i can use that i can banish to summon into my boss monsters right here also a lot of the time when I do lose, it's usually when I have one life point left and I have a bunch of monsters in the field. So I would just rather rock Spear Kribo because by the off chance that I have this card in my hand, I can just use this card. This card is great because it is non-targetable card that can switch my opponent's monster to defense position. And I can just use Kite Ride to protect myself. So we got my boy our Spear Kribo right here. So we got my boy Spear Kribo right here looking freaking fresh. And then one other change that I did is that since I did drop the Rikos out of the deck, List, I decided to drop one copy of Solar Recharge because since I'm not rocking that much Light Swarm monsters anymore, having three Solar Recharge and three Charge Light Brigade could be an oof because if I open up Solar Recharge and no Light Swarm monster, Solar Recharge is useless. There's a lot of times where I just have Solar Recharge in my hand and just can't do a thing. So due to that, I'm going to drop one copy of it and I'm going to replace it with Lila because Lila is back row removal. This card's probably going to be an adjust card again. I may consider dropping Lila and going for a third Eclipse Wyvern, but we have have Lila right here so that I can basically remove a uh, back row with Lila because there's sometimes where my opponent does only rock one back row card and it's just a waste to special summon Leviathan and then play its effect where I can destroy two cards just to get rid of that back row and I could just use Lila so that's why I'm rocking Lila right there with this deck and this is the 3.0 version of the deck I am very curious to see if this is the final version of the deck and let's go hop into the KC Cup real quick and let's see if I can reach dual level max I'll see you guys there First opponent we're going against is somebody from Japan, Duel Level 19. Let's go see what this guy got up his sleeve. Oh boy, he's playing his Iju. Um, you know what? I could easily see this guy. I think this guy probably is playing an ult account, and he's just, you know, playing uh, Dark Magician or something like that. I don't know. Playing a secondary account. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. 29 cards, though. Maybe I am wrong. Maybe he's playing some... He's playing Light Swords. How cool. Oh, he's playing... Okay, I don't know what he's playing, bro, but he's playing some weird Luna Light. Luna Light Light Swords, bro. Okay, this is wacky. I did not know it was an Animal Planet. I thought I was in the KC Cup, bro, not Animal Planet. Um, I gotta say, though, we actually got a really good hand. Charge of Light Brigade and Solar Recharge is a spicy combo, I gotta say. Like, really spicy. 
Um, yeah, we're probably just gonna search for uh, Raiden uh, with Charge Light Brigade and then hope the draw into Lumina with Slow Recharge. Uh, so let's see how this goes. We're gonna first activate our Charge Light Brigade real quick and we're gonna go um, search out for my boy Raiden. We did pitch a Bacon Saver. Uh, Light Pulsar Dragon and Chaos Dragon Divine Mirror. Honestly, not that bad. Not that bad at all. Um, so that's really cool right here. And looks like he does not have no Bacon Savers in his graveyard. So we might be able to OTK him if he didn't draw into a Spirit Creepo. Now, I'm going to actually do this real quick. We're actually going to use Light Pulsar for my graveyard. Um, okay, we do have a Light Pulsar in hand. So yeah, well, this is what we're going to do right here. Uh, we're going to... Yeah, I don't know if this is the play. I really don't know if this is the play, but still, we're going to pitch the Eclipse. We're going to pitch the Chaos Sorcerer. Special Summon into Light Pulsar. Eclipse Wyvern is going to play. We're going to banish the Leviathan Next up, what we're going to do, we're going to activate Slow Recharge. We're going to pitch the Raid and come on Lumina. Okay, we didn't get Lumina, but we did get another Eclipse right there. Fun. Um, so that's fun right there. Next up, we're going to go Special Summon our Light Pulsar. Uh, we're going to go banish our Eclipse. And then we're going to go banish... I guess they're rather Vioneer. And then we're going to go and use... Yep, we got Eclipse Wyvern right here. And then we get our Cast Dragon Leviathan. Um, I, I wonder if I should even summon Leviathan. I feel like it'd be a waste right now. To be honest. To be honest. I think what I'm going to do... I think I'm just going to Normal Raiden. Uh, let's see if we can mill Light Sworn. No, we did not. Okay. So we're just going to crash right here. I don't think he has anything. I think we got game. I probably overthought that duel, but hey, easy dub, boys. Let's go get out of here, Azizu. Let's get that dub, boys. I love it when I pop off with this deck, because as you guys saw, there was just so many different ways to play this deck. I had so many options in that duel. It was so cool. That's the one thing I love about this deck, is that there's just so many options and like just creative ideas you can do with the deck. That's for sure. But we got that quick dub right there. Let's go hop into the next duel. Let's see if I can get the duel level max in today's video. Come on, boys. I've been itching to get the duel of max. It's a little, it's long overdue. I'm going to be honest, it's long overdue. Uh, so that's fun right there. Going against another person from Japan. Let's go. Also, it is now 12 o'clock. So that means that things reset. So I guess I could do four more duels in today's video and open up one of the, uh, what's it called? Open up my Casey Cup pack since the thing resets. So that's fun. I think that'll be the objective of today's video. We got that grit. And you like guys rock at the Carly Carmines. Um, thing right here. Another Light Swarm player. Okay. Um, ooh, he's playing Thunder Dragons, bro. Ugh, he can build the Kite Raider. Are you joking me? Bro, are you joking me? Okay, well, this is what we're going to do right here. So we're going to first guarantee that search for Radon. Sadly, we milled Levine near Light Pulsar and Dark Flare. Oh, well. Uh, but we're going to activate Slow Recharge real quick. Next up, we're going to go pitch Raiden, draw a couple cards. Okay, we got Light Pulsar, and we got the Banish of Eclipse Wyvern. Not bad at all. Um, I mean, we might as well just keep, you know, just thinning out our deck. Let's see if we can draw into something crazy. Let's see if we draw something crazy. Um, actually, we didn't really draw into anything crazy. Um, I don't even know if I want to charge right now. Honestly, I might not even go for the charge. Uh, but So we're going to summon Lumina right now. And then we're going to go pitch our Melody Awakened Dragon since it's useless. And we're going to go for that Raidone. Let me see. Did I even mill my bacon? Hold up. Dog, I didn't even mill bacon. Okay, we're going to actually mill these two, though. We still didn't mill the bacon, bro. Where is my boy bacon? I need him. Anyways, though, we're going to go for the epic summon of Michael. And what we're going to do is that we're going to go banish that stinky Light Sworn card right there. Get that sucker out of here. I don't want to see him. Uh, next up, we're going to go and summon my boy Light Pole C. How you doing? And, you know, let's get rid of one of these useless Spirit Kuribos, bro. Uh, next up, we're going to search for our Eclipse of Wyvern. Boom, bada bang, there we go. Um, yeah, as much as I want to charge right now, I don't want to risk the deck out. Yeah, because we have Michael anyway, so we really we really cannot use charge right now. Um, and then, just in case, if he has a second Kite Ride, I'm going to go for Chaos Sorcerer instead. Uh, I'd rather keep my Chaos Dragon Leviathan here in hand just because dude, just having that option to banish two cards or not banish two cards but destroy two cards is too good but we're gonna go for the attack we know he got as a kite roid um in his graveyard but what matters is if he has one in hand which he doesn't let's go boys honestly 
In a lot of cases, Thunder Dragon, um, Chaos Dragon, Levioneer, like Chaos Dragon, Levioneer with Thunder Dragon is an extremely good deck list. I'm so happy that I got lucky to win at this duel because a lot of time Thunder Dragons with Chaos Dragon, Levioneer smacks my deck up, bro. Like when they pop off against me, it is a force to reckon with, but I got really lucky. Um, and then again, this guy did seem to be playing a weird version of Thunder Dragons now thinking about it because he was playing Light Sworn Thunder Dragons. That's kind of not the wave. Actually, yeah, never mind. This guy's not playing the like optimal version that you see the like, top tier meta people play. So there you go right there. But yo, two for two in the video. Things are looking spicy. We got three more duels in today's video. Come on. Come on, boys. Let's see if I can actually do it. Let's see if I can actually do it. We're going against this person from Japan again. I keep going against Japan people. I mean, I yeah, I mean it is 12 a.m. right now, so it's like the afternoon for homies in Japan, so I guess that would make some sense. We're going first, going against an Aziju. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh, probably going against Dark Magician this time around. And we got a pretty crummy hand for going against Dark Magician right now. Let me tell you what, boys. We did pitch that Eclipse Wyvern, though. Okay, pitching the Eclipse Wyvern was honestly a pog. Now... Ah, oh, man. Okay, this is kind of a struggle because part of me... Part of me kind of wants to go for the, uh, what's it called? Summon into Light Pulsar right now. We'll wait, we'll wait. I don't know if that's the play, but we'll wait. Um, sucks that we milled our charge and our solar recharge, but we do got the Spear Karibo. Spear Karibo is going to be good for protecting us. I like that. Yeah, I mean, also pitching Spear Karibo. Yeah, we have Spear Karibo to protect us, and when we pitch him to the graveyard, that's a target that we can use for our Light Pulsar or Chaos Sorcerer, so that's nice. Um, I feel like I am in a good spot, even though on surface it doesn't seem like anything's really happening, but I feel like I'm in a good spot. Also, Azizu can't use her No Mortal Can Resist yet, so since she can't use that yet, uh, we don't have to worry about our uh, poor Skull Servants getting oofed up. Also, top decking against Illumina right now was literally like one of the best things that happened right now. Oh my goodness. Because now we can normal summon Illumina and summon into Black Rose Dragon and just blow up the field. Now, we'll see if anything happens right here. We'll see if she... Okay. Oh, shit. She's going for the Navi right now. That is okay. I am perfectly okay with Magician's Navigation right now. Because she clearly doesn't have Dark Magical Circle in the field right now. So, I could care less. I could care less about these Dark Magicians right now. I'm going to summon it to Black Rose. I'm going to blow everything up. The thing that we got to worry about... Okay. 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 Looks like we're not going to go into Black Rose right now. This person knows what's up. This person knows the threats, bro. Dead ass. Dead ass. Well, it looks like we're going to be going for some different plays now. Um, Let's see. How do I want to go at this? Because I can summon my Chaos Sorcerer right now. Um, and banish his Dark Magician. Ah! Nah. We're going to go into Light Pulsey. We're going to banish you. We're going to banish you. Go into Light Pulsey. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I can't even summon Levine here right now. Fuck. <laughs> I should have went to Chaos Sorcerer. Fuck me, bro. Uh, yeah, I misplayed that hard. I misplayed that so bad, dude. Yo, I'm, by the way, Zizhu, I'm perfectly okay with you switching all my Consist Skull Servants. That's why I let you do that. I'm perfectly okay with it. You can do it. You, you can switch all my stuff to Skull, Skull Servants. I really like Skull Servants. Honestly, one of my favorite cards. No cap, no cap. Um, I still feel like we're in a good position, but I really should have summoned Chaos Sorcerer. Because if I summoned Chaos Sorcerer, we could have uh, banished that Dark Magician uh, right here. And that would have been extremely helpful in this duel. So, fuck me, bro. Oh, Sealed Tombs. I mean, that's probably worse. Oh, I mean. Okay. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm chill with that, I think. Because let's see. Uh, especially, yeah, I'm chill with this. Hold up. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm chill with this. Hold up. We can go into Scrapado Dragon. Summon it to our boy Scrap Dragon. Nice to see him showcase in the video. We can't, we can't do that game. We can't do Seal Tomb. Oh, shit. Seal Tombs does let me do that. Dope. <laughs> Dope. Uh, okay, let's go get, I don't know. Actually, that's probably another Magician Navigation, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's probably another magician navigation, isn't it? Yes, sir! Explains why I was activatable. Uh, I mean... Actually, eh, you know what? Fuck it, yeah, let's crash. Yes, sir. I'm okay with crashing. I, I'm, I'm chill with that. 
Because then we can summon, like, Chaos or Sir and the Lion here, bro. We, we be vibing. That's a problem. Oh, no, we actually got Spirit Creeble, and Spirit Creeble is a non-targetable card. Dude, I'm vibing. Yo, honestly, Spirit Creeble is the fucking G, bro. I think this was the tech that I needed in my deck. Because, like, this duel would... I think I still would have been able to win this duel, but still, Spirit Creeble, he's going to come through, bro. He is going to come through. Yo, what is up, homie? What is up? How you doing? Yo, how you doing? Um, you know, you know me, bro. We out here. We banishing. We, we, we out here banishing, bro. You know it. Bro, we got so many plays right now. It's actually sick. But like, look at this, boys. Look at this. Nope. Yes. Look at this. We're about to have, like, the most beautiful field I've ever seen in my life, bro. Like, dead ass, dude. Um... I'm gonna do this, do this, do this. Yo, look at look at how beautiful this field is. Look at this. This is just a be this is just a wonderful field, bro. That was amazing. A scrap dragon and two chaos dragon pioneers. Insane. Absolutely insane. So I think we got like two more duels in today's video uh, that we're gonna do. Man, I'm feeling well. Actually, I'm not feeling nervous, but dude, there is such a high chance that I'm gonna choke my rank up match to dual level max because I believe it is you have to win five times in a row to get to dual level max and like I've been getting extremely lucky this entire time but dude I am literally the king of choking duels like I it's just like that it's just a bad habit I got uh going first again let's go see what's gonna be popping right now okay yeah we're still not on that win duel yet we're still not there god dang we're so close though um, honestly, yeah, we're gonna summon Lumina. We got Spear Kribo. We got Grit. Let's mill some stuff. Let's get some stuff in the graveyard. Let's go, boys. We're doing it. We milled Chaos Sorcerer, Charge Light Brigade, and Dark Flare Dragon. Um, actually, those were good mills because, well, Charge Light Brigade was a bad mill, but honestly, we were gonna draw into Chaos Sorcerer next, and I would not want to draw into that with the hand that I have right now, so I'm okay with that. These mills are actually pretty good, so then we have a higher chance of drawing into, like, something usable. Um, so that's very epic and what I'm probably gonna do honestly is that whatever okay So he's just gonna set okay Raiden can we dra can we draw into Raiden? No, that is not going to happen um, I mean, okay What should we do then? What should we do? Um, honestly? Yeah, this is a thing too because we're going against blue eyes white dragon right now and blue eyes white dragon is not a good matchup for my deck it is not at all. Um, I think what I will do... I'm going to switch Lumina to defense. Yeah, I'm just going to switch Lumina to defense and mill some more stuff. Okay. Probably could have done something more there, but I really don't want to pop Ancients right now. I can't deal with a Blue-Eyes White Dragon right now. Um, so we're not going to pop the Ancients. But yeah, no. Blue-Eyes White Dragon, I forgot. It's a matchup that I have a very hard time going against. Um... Still, honestly, in a situation that I am in right now, definitely I'm going to need a Black Rose nuke. Come on. Come on. Ah, nah, come on, bro. I'm about to deck out, dude. Dead ass. Dead ass. Okay. Hmm. You know what, boys? We're going to play cocky. We're going to play cocky right here. We're gonna get rid of you, you, and we're gonna get rid of uh, you. Oh, we, we, we're gonna play so cocky right now, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You have some reactable shit. Fuck. Okay, well, we know what two cards we're gonna pop now. Actually, no, this is okay. Wait, 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 wait. This is actually perfectly okay. Because we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. Both of those cards are out of here. Oh, and we win. This guy's not even playing blue eyes. I just got rid of a glow bulb. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We have, we're gonna, normal Light Pulsar. I mean, yeah, I mean, Levine is floodgated, so. Nope. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm an idiot. I'm an, I'm an idiot, bro. I'm an idiot. My head, I hate, I hate my head so much. I hate my head so much. Literally, so, the floodgate should have not saved Seto Kaiba. This floodgate right here should have not saved Seto Kaiba. It, it wasn't gonna save him. But due to me being a literal idiot, it saved him. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I am genuinely mad at myself. Luckily, the world was like, hey, bro, I'm going to get you this guaranteed win, homie. 
Um, do we want to go for that? I mean, you took it a card? No. We're going to go Black Rose. <sighs> there is no reason for me to do that. My head is just so dumb. My head is so dumb, dude. Like, why is my head like this? I mean, luckily, we're going to get a flashier win, because this win right here that we're about to get is pretty clean, not going to lie. But still, my head is so stupid, bro. Like, it really is. Because, like, I'm just like, oh, cool. Since, you know, he flipped down my Levioneer with my Floodgate, or since he used Floodgate to flip down my Levioneer, Levioneer is literally useless. He's so useless right now, because we can't flip him up later in the duel, bro. So then I'm just like, okay, let me sacrifice Levioneer. But no, Lumino is the choice, because that was a light attribute monster that we needed to get into the graveyard to special summon into our Dark Flare Dragon to win the duel right there. Literally, the world was just like, bro, I gotta hand you this dub real quick, homie. I'm gonna give you this dub real quick. Let me make sure that this guy you're going against just still doesn't do anything, but... I'm about to just punch myself, bro. Okay, boys. Let's see if Watt 007 will choke. This guy has full belt king of games. This guy is going to be playing Bandit Keith. If he's playing Bandit Keith, he is probably playing the top tier uh, Thunder Dragon deck. Oh, why are you making me go against Thunder Dragon's Konami on my win-up rank? I was clowning in the last duel, bro. I'm not ready for this duel, bro. Let's get that bacon, bro. Let's get that bacon in the graveyard. That is not bacon. That is not bacon. Come on, two Dark Flares, bro. Come on, I need bacon in the graveyard. Because honestly, I wouldn't mind keeping Raiden on the field. Dead ass, dude. Dead ass. Hey, don't do that, bro. Bro, I'm about to lose. I'm about to lose, bro. So close to the rank, rank up match, dude. So close to the rank up match. And I'm about to take the fatty L. Fatty L right now. Ugh, no, I don't know, dude, I still don't know how to play against top tier Thunder Dragon. Like, this is such a, this is a matchup that I need so much practice against, because, like, I just don't know what to do against this deck, bro. Thunder Dragon Duo, Chaos Dragon, the Pioneer, they some scary boys. They some scary boys. Hey, what's up, Thunder Dragon Dark? Hey, look at this guy, too, he got all the Prismax. If he got triple Prismax Thunder Dragon Dark, he probably has Pioneer, bro. Oh, no, dude. Oh no, oh no, bro, we about to get OTK'd! We about to get OTK'd. It's not gonna be fun. Not gonna be fun whatsoever. Maybe I should have summoned Eclipse, maybe? Nah, Eclipse wasn't the way. We did really need to pitch some cards in the graveyard so we could go into, like, Light Pulsar. Oh, well, what a nice guy. Oh, dude, oh, wait, I, if he summons another monster, we're, like, literally dead. Oh no. Oh no, bro. He literally took my own monster to use it against me. Bro. It really do be like that sometimes. It really do be like that sometimes. Why did they why did the game make me go against like one of my worst matchups? I mean, Blue Eyes was also my worst matchup, but like this one's also a bad matchup. Well, it sucks to suck. We just took that fatty L. He literally took our monster and just oofed me up, bro. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Grit usually comes through, but we didn't mill no bacons, and we did not draw into any of our uh, Spear Creepos. Man! What a bad way to end off the video, bro. Like, this video's been way too long, but like, ah, that's such a crummy way to end off the, I don't, Carly, yeah, it's a, yeah, you know what? It was so-so. It really was so-so. I will take them 54 gems, though. 54 gems for doing a dual quiz. I'll take that, though. But, yo, let's see how many L's. Yo, this is the final L of today's video. I'm not going to pull Neos. I did call it. I did call it, bro. How many? I don't even know how many more I have of those. Like, oh, dude. Well, the Casey Cup is till April 12th. I still got eight more packs to open up for the dang thing, but... Bro, I can't even get Neos, bro. Come on. I'm playing Jade and I can't even get the alternate artwork for Neos. It really do be like that. But you know what, boys and girls? Once I turn off this camera, you better know I'm going to instantly get to dual level max. Peep the community tab because uh, I'm going to reach dual level max real quick because I know I have the capabilities of reaching it. But I really hope you guys enjoyed my updated version of Chaos Dragon Levioneer. As you guys can see, the deck is really good. Honestly, when it just came to that last duel today's video, it really just was one of those things where I just didn't have a good opening hand and my opponent did. You know, that's just how it always is in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Sometimes you have the God Hand and sometimes you don't. And clearly in that last duel, I did it against a Thunder Dragon player. If I had a God Hand, probably would have been a pretty even match. I'm not going to lie. So 
For a deck that I built on my own, I'm really liking my Chaos Dragon Leviathan deck. This deck is literally my baby, and I'm going to try to reach King of Games and Duel Max with this deck. And if you guys can build a deck, feel free to go try it out. It's a lot of fun. I will say that um, Chaos Dragon Leviathan with Thunder Dragons is probably more consistent, but if you want something that's a little bit more fun, be sure to go try out my deck list. Nonetheless, though, thank you guys so much for watching today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll go see you guys next Yu-Gi-Oh! video. It took me like one hour, but I finally reached dual level max, boys. As you will see once I get through the dual results, we at it, boys. Let's go. In a cycle, repeat. A lie. How many chasing their dreams? A lie. How many of us give up because we taking the failure as if it's defeat? A lie. How many of us is weak? A lie. How many of us are scared? A lie. How many of us don't understand that we got somebody who really cares? A lie.